Oh. Time flies when you're having fun, Annie. I forgot that there was a show going on. So <laughs> I am announcing today an important conference. I hope that you have your notepad and your pen, your Lillian McDermott radio show pen, because we are going to learn and grow together. So fasten your seatbelt. Here we go. Time to dance, Annie. There you go. This is where we get our morning exercise <laughs> yeah. on the Lillian McDermott radio show. Over here. <laughs> oh. I, I interviewed this guy this last week and he was doing the little chop thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the way people, well, I call this air dancing. So yeah. You're not moving your feet, you're just, you're. Well, yeah, yeah, but you know what? We're moving. That's what's important. Yes, it is. Good. <laughs> Another form of detox. That's it. Now let's all learn together. Here's Lillian McDermott. Hello, my listening friend. It's so nice we can meet each other on the air on this beautiful best day ever. And for those of you who are new to the Little McDermott Radio Show, man, you picked a good one to start. And for those of you who are returning time and time again, thank you so much for growing and learning with me. I am so grateful. But if you don't know what this show is about, let me tell you. I am committed to provide alternative ways to heal, and it is my mission to make awareness, responsibility, and truth a part of our everyday life, and I hope you, my viewing, and my listening friends will feel empowered to learn a new truth and embrace the life of your dreams. Now, today, we have a return guest that... Um, you know, usually we wait a month or so, and maybe it has been a month. I can't remember, but it seems like she's always been a part of the show. I ran and stumbled upon Annie Brandt uh, not too long ago, about a year ago, at the conference called Doctors Who Rock. And so I am really excited because we, we were standing side by side to each other. I didn't know what an incredible woman I had by my side. I knew she was special, but I didn't know how special she was. And so I've learned a little bit about what she does. And she started a, this foundation called Best Answer for Cancer. And for those of you who listen all the time, you know that I said, you know, there's a conference coming up and it is May 17th through 19th. If you're a, a health practitioner, it's on the 17th through 19th. If you're the general public, it's the 18th through 19th. And so today, we're going to be giving away not just two, not just two tickets for one caller. We're going to give two more tickets for the second caller. So the sixth or seventh, or I mean, sorry, sixth and tenth caller today, the sixth and tenth caller or texter will win two tickets to this conference. And I'm really excited because Annie is the epitome of what the Lone McDermott radio show is about. She received advanced stage metastatic breast cancer diagnosis, but she wasn't given a lot of hope, but she mustered it. She created it. And that was so many years ago. And that led her, her journey of learning about her body and about how to heal it led her to starting Best Answer for Cancer. And then about 10 years ago, she started doing these conferences so that you don't have to go through what she went through. And since it is our sole purpose in life to give and receive love and knowledge, I am so grateful that Annie Brandt is here to do just that. Annie, welcome back to the Little McDermott Radio Show. Yay, Lillian, it's so great to be here. I really feel like I'm home again every time I, I'm here. So Wonderful. I am so grateful. And this is an exciting day because we're not just giving out two tickets to the first caller. We're going to give two more tickets to the second caller and the sixth and 10th caller. And the phones already began. And so this is a conference that is in May, May 17th through 19th. Now, before we start talking about the conference, Share a little bit about yourself, Annie, and your journey to discover how to heal the body. Okay, great. Well, um, it, was, it was necessity for me. So the first death diagnosis I got, the doctor said, you know, we know it's going to kill you, but we don't know. We don't have anything to fix it. So that left it up to me. And, and each subsequent, I have a dysfunctional immune syndrome. So each sub, subsequent disease that I got gifted with, um, 
I had to find my own solution. And so I got very adept at just looking around and keeping an open mind. And, and I realized after I went through cancer that that's almost impossible if you haven't been through it before because you are so, so frightened. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and you just can't see anything. You can't hear anything. Uh, you know, I call it the deer in the headlights and, and uh, a lot of people do because that's what it's like. You're just frozen. And so after going through that death diagnosis in 2001, I thought, okay, most people won't get this. They won't get the idea that they should look around, that they should um, explore, that they can investigate, that they have time to do that. You know, so that's why yeah. I started the foundation. It's just to share information and educate and tell people their options. Very good. And that's one of the things, um, when somebody gets a cancer diagnosis, it's been in their body for a while, but they're treated as if, if you don't do something yesterday, like chemotherapy, radiation, surgery, then all of a sudden you're making mistakes. And so that's where the fear comes in. How do you plant this hope to just say, stop before you do the chemical warfare on your body stop, drop, and roll. Start and think about what you're doing, and here is why. How do you get people to stop and listen, Annie? Well, first, I, I remind them that we all die. <laughs> there is no way out, you know. Yeah. So the, the, I think, in my opinion, the trick is to slow down, relax. You know, the cancer has been growing eight to ten years usually before it shows up. And so you've got time to do some research and make an informed decision. Awesome. And that's what we're going to talk about. Be the fourth, sixth, tenth caller at 407-373-5959. That's 407-373-5959. And we're going to continue our conversation with Annie Brandt when we return worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. We'll be right here waiting for you. I don't, <laughs> see, I don't know if you see it, but there is a gnat flying around. I can't see it, but he's probably just a fan. <laughs> Trying to get as close as he can. Uh, it's one of my angels that's around. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> okay. So um, when, when you got cancer, one of the things, the diagnosis, and I hear people, and maybe you can address this quickly, when people own their diagnosis, like, okay, I got my cancer, I have, you know, my disease, my cancer, my, what do you say to them? I say, please don't claim it. You know, when you say my, you know, instead of the, then you make it, you bring it in, you, you know, it is yours. You know, I, I, I think one of the reasons I survived the first time around was I refused to admit that I had brain mets and lung mets. I just didn't believe it. Didn't go there. And I always said the cancer because I don't, I don't want to own that. I mean, it is, a, it is a gift in a lot of ways because it makes you look at your whole life and change things. But I still don't want it to stay forever. And, you know, I want it to go. I want it. It's done its job. You go, you go now. Annie, you're amazing. I mean, not a lot of people are that strong. And um, first of all, there's an emotional component to, to all disease. And so that is like the drop that fills the cup and makes the cup run over. You know, once you get that disease, it's like, oh, okay, I'm, I now can just relax and blame the disease. But the reality, there's just so much more. And I want to address that mind, body, spirit component to uh, disease as well. Are you going to be talking about that on the, in the conference? Oh, my gosh, yes. So we, um, I believe in a healing platform that encompasses the whole life. So we talk spirituality, mind, body, psycho, emotional, immunology, nourishment, detox, lots of detox, lifestyle changes, and targeted therapies. Perfect. We need to say that again. For those of you who are watching, you're going to hear this again. So here we go, Annie. It's time. <laughs> okay. The volume of the music is perfect. It really is. Not too loud, too low. So I hope that for those of you on YouTube, five, nine, five, nine. like that. Once again, here's Lillian. Welcome back to the Lillian McDermott Radio Show, where we always learn and grow with one another. And today's teacher is the founder, the co-founder of Best Answer for Cancer Foundation. You can find bestanswerforcancer.org. Uh, so it's Best answer for cancer.org if you want to learn more today we're talking with annie brand about the conference that's going to be in orlando almost in our backyard so whether you live in jacksonville or you live in 
from Daytona to West Palm or worldwide, this is the place for you. And here's my call to action for all of you. And I'm going to repeat this over and over and over again. So get this straight. This isn't just for you. This is for anyone who is a health practitioner. A health practitioner, help educate your doctors, your, 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 um, anyone who lays hands on somebody, integrative, MD, DOs, ND. So there's so many DCs, functional, integrative. I mean, massage therapists, anyone who lays hands, we're giving away two tickets. Okay, no, we're giving away four tickets to two different callers. That way you can go with a friend or bring some or give the tickets to someone that you know can go to this conference. And the conference is May 17th through 19th. Be the sixth and 10th caller or texter at 407 373 5959. Annie, I'm really excited about this conference. I'm going to be there. I'm going to, I'm hoping to be there when the doctors are there as well, because I want to see these doctors that are stepping outside the box to learn a new truth. So let's talk about the conference. Who can go to this conference as far as only people that have cancer or for, are we going to talk about prevention here as well? Okay. So if you look at the new cancer stats, they are one in every two people. So it used to be one in every two men, one in every three women. Now it's one in every two people will get a cancer diagnosis in their lifetime. So if you think about that, you know, the chances are good that, that unless you stay as, as healthy as you can, you know, you, you are in the pool that might get a cancer diagnosis. So we, we encourage everybody, whether you're sick or not, come learn how to stay healthy, come learn how to get healthy and you know share it share it with your friends share it with your family bring people it's almost free i mean we are basically just covering the cost of the room and the chairs yes and, and so what is the cost because i want people to see the value of these tickets so it's uh 179 for both days 179 dollars <laughs> and we have um 13 uh, experts and physicians who will be speaking we have workshops each morning where you'll be sitting down with the experts and the doctors and and in exploring one of the modalities of healing so you can actually build your own healing program um, it's it's a, an amazing value when's the last time you sat down with a doctor for an hour or hours and talked to him and you didn't pay him an hourly wage mm. when's the last time you got to listen to 13 doctors for 179 dollars when's the last time you got to sit down with those doctors for 179 dollars uh, yes Total. And it, this is life. This is life. Whether you have a diagnosis of cancer or you are wanting to prevent cancer, well, we all have it in our body. We just want to stay healthy so that we can, the, the body will fight the cancer naturally, holistically. And so the number to call is 407 373 Five nine five nine. This is something that you guys need to carpool down to the sixth caller or the tenth the sixth or tenth caller or texter at four zero seven three seven three five nine five nine. We'll get tickets to this conference. So now let's talk a little bit more because we know that there is a emotional component to all illness. And as a matter of fact, I just interviewed Ellen Jacobs. She's a cancer mm. coach. I don't know if you know who she is. And More personally. Yes. Isn't she wonderful? She is, is wonderful. And she was telling me that she was healthy. She ate well. She did everything right, but she refused to deal with an emotional side of her life. And that's why she had to deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. So, she had to deal with it. Once she dealt with it, she got rid of it. So let's talk about the emotional aspect. Will you be addressing that at the conference? Oh, yes. Like I say, we'll be addressing uh, all aspects of your lifestyle. So starting with spirituality, mind, body, psycho, emotional. There's your emotions. Immunology. We, we tackle the new nourishment uh, component. You know, there's lots of diets. Mm -hmm. uh, we talk about detox. There's tons of way to detox and you need to detox. Um, basically a tumor is a collection of toxic cells. So it, you know, 
um, we talk about lifestyle. How do you live healthy? What do you need to get rid of? What do you need to change? And when, then we talk about targeted therapies. Now, let me just say one real quick thing about all the modalities I mentioned. They are all targeted therapies. There's actual science behind all of these modalities that show that it, they can keep you healthy and get you healthy again. And um, so targeted therapies is kind of like our wastebasket. It's like what fell out of the other categories and that we still want to use as, as a, our program. So what does targeted therapy look like? What is, what is it? So um, just a prime example, uh, conventional chemotherapy and radiation cannot target just the cancer cells. They can target areas of the body as far as radiation, but they cannot target cancer cells. And um, the targeted therapies, there's a, there are several that target just the cancer cells. They found ways to isolate the cancer cells from the healthy cells. So again, it's keeping you healthy, while you're making the cancer leave, be uncomfortable enough to leave. Okay. So is that with the insulin and the, like what Dr. James Forsyth does, what's the insulin uh, potentiation therapy? Is that the right name for it? That is the, that was the, you know, as far as we are concerned in alternative medicine, that was the first targeted uh, therapy. It's called insulin potentiation, targeted low dose therapy, and it basically uses insulin to stimulate the disease cells. At the same time, the insulin will put the healthy cells to sleep. Mm -hmm. And so only the disease cells are awake. Now, the key word disease cell, it's not just for cancer, it can be used for other diseases and has been historically, which a lot of people don't know. But other targeted therapies are like metformin, uh, berberine, um, Pectisol C, I mean, uh, poly MVA. I mean, there are a number of them that target just the disease cells, not the healthy cells. Interesting. You use metformin. How do they use metformin? Because they use metformin for diabetes, and we're trying to get people off metformin for diabetes. How would you use it for cancer? <laughs> well, okay, so metformin and berberine. Berberine is a supplement, it's very inexpensive. Does the same thing as metformin uh, with one except, well, one exception. Um, metformin is one of the new uh, off-purpose, uh, off off-label, yeah. off-purpose drugs, uh, or off-label drugs that's been repurposed, that's the word I kept bringing in purpose, has been repurposed to um, stop cancer from growing. So it has an anti-cancer component there. It also prevents the formation of cancer stem cells, which is what berberine does. So in this case, metformin is not a, a drug that you want to get off of unless you're like a diabetic diabetic and then you might want to bring in berberine instead of the metformin mm -hmm. but metformin has an additional medical component that was quite a surprise to me but yeah wow okay so you have uh this agenda of the doctors are going to be going there you have speakers the doctors are going there or not just doctors health practitioners mm -hmm. for w whether you're now this giveaway uh, is different. It's, these are this is the giveaway for the general public, right? This is not Correct. the giveaway for the CEUs for the health practitioner. I want to be very clear on that. Right. But the sixth caller, the tenth call, sixth caller and texter, uh, will get the uh, two free tickets to go to this event. So we're giving away four at each show. So uh, this is four zero seven three seven three five nine five nine. Be the sixth or 10th caller or texter to get free tickets. I'm really excited about this event, but we can go there. And I mean, when you go, will everybody be able to attend all the sessions or is this you get to pick and choose the sessions that you want, Annie? So it's kind of a, with the public, it, the public, by the way, public conference is called Answers for Cancer Summit. It's our 10th okay. annual. And so what, they, what we're doing there this year is a little different. We have workshops in the morning and these workshops are where you'll choose which modality to go learn more about or to develop for your own program. So let's say you choose um, detox and um, you go sit in the detox workshop and the speaker will be um, maybe someone like Dr. Mitch Gann or it could be Dr. Joseph Mercola. Um, and you'll sit down with this, this moderator and the moderator will speak for about 10, 15 minutes and then it's the table's open for discussion. Mm -hmm. So you actually get to sit and develop ideas and ask questions and it's just going to be so exciting and then the afternoons are just uh, all speakers and there you don't have to worry about missing anybody you'll see them all you'll you'll be able to attend every workshop because we've got seven total and there's seven healing modalities so you don't have to worry you'll get it all 
Now the, the, and I realized that there was two different things going on. The answers for cancer summit is the 10th annual one, but for the doctors and the health practitioners that you've been doing this much longer, haven't you? Yeah, we've been doing, this is our 16th year. Mm -hmm. And um, the physicians, by the way, don't, you don't have to worry about calling in to win tickets. You can use a, a discount code that we're giving Lillian and it's called outreach. And so if you'd like to come to the conference for uh, the steepest discount we've got, um, up to $100, I believe, it's mm -hmm. Outreach. Outreach is the code word. All so caps. They, they can go to bestanswerforcancer.org, go click on to the conference, and when they buy their ticket, it is they enter the code, promo code, Outreach, all caps. Correct. And, and what is the percentage that they get off? Uh, I don't know about the percentage. We have different levels of registration, so different prices, but mm -hmm. the, um, the, it's up to $100, I believe. That's wonderful. So let's talk about the, what is new that we need to become aware of that is out there beyond chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery? Well, one of the things I'm really excited about it, that I met, just mentioned was um, using uh, having an off-label use of prescription drugs that are FDA approved and repurposing them to stop the pathways for cancer. Mm -hmm. So just like, uh, you know, when you're driving your car and there's a, there's a detour, you know, you can't go that way anymore. So you take the detour. Mm -hmm. So that's what cancer does. Cancer is a little wily beast. And so these, this program will um, actually stop cancer from going anywhere and it'll starve and die right there. Wow, we're gonna to have to talk about this off the air, How, who discovered yes. this, you know, because yes. I mean, unless there's diabetics have a better chance of fighting cancer, I don't know how someone came up with this. But for those of you that are wanting to attend, I'll be there, I'm excited to be able to go there on uh, May 17th through 19th is the, there's a conference and a summit going on on the 18th and 19th is when the summit's gonna be. And the theme, get this, the theme is cancer, cannabis, and keto. And the last time you were on, you said that there is a vegan keto. Uh, yes. Diet. Tell us about that. Oh, oh my gosh. I am so in love with this food. And um, it's, it's a vegan keto. The, uh, the creator is an executive chef. It's called Keto to Go. And you got to come meet her. She's going to be sampling. Oh, so there's going to be food too? Yes. <laughs> oh, and this will be healthy food. Okay, so get ready. Be the sixth or tenth caller or texter, and you will win two tickets to this conference. It's May 17th through 19th. For the general public, there's these tickets right here that we're giving away is for the 18th and 19th of May. So it's right around the corner. Clear your schedule, clear your calendar, 407-373-5959. And we're going to continue our conversation with Annie when we return worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. We'll be right here waiting for you. This is so exciting, Annie. Hey, um, I'll tell you, you are exciting. This is fun. This is fun. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, so... Um, Metformin, who, who the heck discovered? <laughs> because metformin can kill you as a diabetic. I mean, it's, it's like the risks, the side effects are horrible. Who came yeah. up with this? Well, you know, I want, just want to comment on that, the risks, the side effects, and, and it can kill you. You know, most of, of what we do in life is a balancing act. You know, it's all about finding the balance. And that's the same with anything you choose to do for your health or, or, um, or just life. You know, you, 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 weigh, you weigh the risks. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, the person who discovered this, I don't know his actual name, but it's a, it's a group out of Britain mm -hmm. and, um, they're called care oncology and we have a U.S. contact. He will be speaking at the conference and talking about this very program. So mm -hmm. you can't find any information out about it. It will be unveiled at the conference. And so wow. it's, it's pretty new and very exciting. And, and, and we had, they've had done trials and everything and they're ready to make this public? My uh, understanding is they are uh, doing trials right now and yeah, they're ready. They're ready. They've been very careful. They're, um, you know, with what they're doing. They've, they've done a lot of investigation before they put this into action. Wow. So yeah, it's, it's just brilliant though. I mean, it, it, and it's very exciting to me. So it gives people a more benign way to, and it's something to add to a program. You know, Lillian, I know you know this, but we call it best answer for cancer because we think it's 
whatever works for you. So that can be conventional only. That can be alternative only. That can be a mix. I encourage people to look at everything and then again weigh the pros and cons. Now, do you have all your vendors all set? Because I just discovered a, a DNA group this weekend at that at conference that I was telling you about, and they're from Denmark. And I don't know if you guys have a DNA group that comes in and they use it really well. Instead of saying, you know, you're, you have a 50% chance of getting cancer or getting whatever disease you are predisposed to, they tell you you've got a 50% chance to turn it around. You know, there's a, there's a big difference. There's a big difference on it. There is. Um, let's definitely talk after the radio. Yeah. The oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited. And, you know, we hand choose our, our um, exhibitors because yeah. I want them to be valid options. So, yeah, let's talk. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I forgot we were being recorded. No. <laughs> it's all right. I know. It, and, and again, I did too. And I was like, and then I thought, maybe I shouldn't say that right here. Because, yeah. So, absolutely. Well, okay. So, what I want to talk about when we go back on the air, not now necessarily, I, I want to talk about, you know, the different speakers that we are having on and what the topics are so that we are aware of these topics. So if you have them handy, I, I think I have them here. Um, but I it have doesn't, the positions it, handy, handy. I don't have them for the public yet. So, but pretty much the positions walk down the hall and give the same presentation just in English. So it's, it's really the same presentation that the doctors here yeah. just lay speak. So the same, oh, so the, the public is going to get the same um, talk, but at, at a level <clears throat> that is less technical. Correct. It's a, it's, we call it lay speak or lay, lay terminology, but yeah, we want everyone to understand. And, and that's what, that's what I did the very first year. I took them by the arm as when it was their turn, walked them down the hall and said, now speak English. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've, I, you know, it's, it's really wonderful to have a doctor that speaks both language that can speak at the level um, up for the general pu public and then step it up and speak it at the level that a doctor understands um, in the scientific terminology. It's wonderful to find a doctor. There are some doctors, though, that like to impress their, their patients with a high level of language. So, yeah, <laughs> well, so good. I think that's what's so beautiful about these doctors is they they really sit down talk to the patients it's all in english they try and help the patient understand they're not in a hurry yeah so because as much time as they need wonderful wonderful okay okay speak up i just got a text from this group i was just so impressed with them <laughs> yeah german or leave her a voicemail at okay. 407-373-5959 once again here's lillian Hello, my listening friend. It's so nice we can meet each other on. Oh, listen, listen to me. I am so, I am like starting the show all over again. That's what I'm doing. Welcome back to the Lil McDermott Radio Show, where you can hear us worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. I'm your host, Lillian McDermott, and I'm so excited about this conference. You know, it's time to take our life back. It's time to take our health back. It's time to reprogram the tapes in our brain that said that once you're taking this medication, you'll always be on this medication. Once you have a diagnosis of cancer, even if it's stage four, you can heal your body. It's not about, uh, you know, getting rid of the cancer. It's about healing your body. It's not about losing weight. It's about being healthy. There's a, a difference of, of perspective that you will get to learn at this conference, at this summit. So there's two things going on the weekend of May 17th and 19th. First one is a conference for doctors where they're going to learn integrative, holistic ways to heal the body from this, this cancer that is um, unnecessary. It's not welcomed in our lives. And so how do they help us find the right or the best answer for our body? Just like the foundation is called best answer for cancer, everybody has a different answer. Not one size fits all. Nobody with a size shoe uh, size eight is happy with a shoe size six. It will hurt if you try to fit into the wrong size shoe for a long period of time. So it's time to figure out where it is in your life that you can heal 
your body. And so there's two things is May 17th through 19th for health practitioners. And on May 18th and 19th, there is a summit and the summit is called Answers for Cancer Summit. And they're going to be talking about um, the, the differences of uh, the theme is, I, I had it right in front of me here and I just washed it away. So what is the theme, Annie? Cancer, cannabis, and keto. There you go. I had it right in front of me. My goodness. I am just so excited about this. I want you to uh, call 407-373-5959. We're giving not just two tickets away for the first caller, the second or caller or texter, first caller or texter, second caller or texter will also win two tickets. This is a $358 value that Annie is so generously donating to the show so that you can take your health back. So be the sixth or 10th caller or texter, 407-373-5959. I also want to encourage you to go to whenyouneedafriend.com, become a subscriber because all that information will be at your fingertips. It's right there. Every Sunday, I send out a blog. So not only when you become a subscriber to whenyouneedafriend.com will you get a blog every Sunday, you also get the shows sent to you right to your phone or tablet. Where else can you get this kind of information for free, right? So not only that, you get these prizes that you get to experience and learn and take your health back. So today, 407-373-5959. I want to encourage you to go to whenyouneedafriend.com and not only become a subscriber, but check out my sponsors. Without my sponsors, you wouldn't get this show every day. And so make sure you check out the sponsors and see how you can support them the way they support the show. Like me on social media, like, subscribe on my YouTube channel because the conversations are not just on the air, you hear it on the air, but we also have conversations off the air and I wanna encourage you to become a subscriber there too. So when you go to whenyouneedafriend.com, you could click away social media, like me there, uh, YouTube, subscribe there, and you can always call and text me 407-373-5959. And as all of you know, that when you become a subscriber, you get my 90-day challenge to uh, self-love ebook. That's the 90-day challenge to self-love ebook. That's a free gift when you become a subscriber. Tell everybody, call everybody, let them know that we're doing this show today. Annie, you're the author of The Healing Platform. And how long did it take you after you uh, healed your body to decide, you know, these are the steps I took. I'm going to put it down so that other people feel empowered to do the same. So, um, thank you. This is this is the book. It's available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. I'm I'm pretty proud of it. Um, it didn't start out that way. It wasn't something that I wanted to be famous for or anything else. I I speak to cancer patients for free as much as I can. I sit on the phone. You know, I was there, so I don't. I want to do this, but it got to be so busy that I couldn't keep up, and I person after person kept saying, I wish you'd put this in writing. I wish yeah. you'd put this in writing. Yeah. So I put it in writing. And yeah. and the book is actually, if you get it, or if you can get it at the, at the show, yeah. but you'll see colored tabs here. Wow. These are for each of the seven modalities. I give all the science behind them. I give, you know, the actual evidence of why this works. So it's not only an, uh, an interactive guide that will lead you to find your own diseases. It's a guide, uh, a reference guide to wow. learn from. And you started this as a innocent victim, you know, you didn't, you, but you, you not only um, did what was best for you, you actually found new things that you weren't even told about by your doctors, right? Oh, yeah. I was actually in, in every case except the cancer. I was told they had no answer for me. So I had to find my own answers and and uh, I've learned so much and the cancer the answers that they gave me were surgery chemo radiation period and I thought I don't want to go there I don't want to see I don't want to be that picture but I thought I'd give it a chance I went home and did my research and what I learned was like uh uh-uh, I can't do that to myself I just couldn't I knew it so yes I've learned so much and it's just from looking around now these days there's almost too much as you know Lillian. Yes. And so that's another reason for the summit. We help people weed through everything and figure out 
where they want to start. So let's talk about some of the the um, lectures that we're going to be hearing at the conference, at the summit as well, because I found out for those of you who, you know, you'll, if you go to the YouTube video, you'll also hear this, but I'm going to repeat this as well. The doctors that you're going to listen to, the people that you're going to be listening to, because not everybody's a doctor, but the people you're going to be listening to are also going to be speaking to the health professionals, health practitioners. And so you're going to get the same information. And so you will be empowered to ask for what you want and, and get that uh, and, and tell your doctors, tell your, uh, whether they're integrative or not, tell your doctors about this conference because they get CEUs when they go to this. So let's talk about some of the different um, topics that people are going to be able to hear for the talks. Okay, so for the Answers for Cancer Summit, you know, we have the workshops in the morning, um, but in the afternoon are the speakers, and we wanted to make sure there was a good mix of cancer, cannabis, and keto. Yes. You know, Florida has just announced medical cannabis as being legal, and ketogenics is, is being studied down at USF. So, you know, they seem like no-brainers to me uh, to clear up a lot of myths and mis misconceptions and misperceptions and mis representations mm -hmm. so especially cannabis and so the speakers that we have will be talking about what's kind of like what's real and what's memorex with medical marijuana okay. um, and how do you know that what you're getting is good and how do you go about getting something um, that's just suited for your issues mm -hmm. um, so that we'll have uh, three or four speakers five speakers on that we've got um, four speaker four or five speakers on ketogenics and they'll be talking about how do you cook, you know, with ketogenics, you know, how do you prepare meals that are tasty and yet effective? And, and then the cancer folks will be talking about things like um, the repurposing of drugs to shut down cancer. They'll be talking about the, the way to um, uh, look at the ENOX2 protein and stop it from doing what it needs to do to help cancer. So Enox. a lot of it is ENOX, E-N-O-X. E-N-O-X. ENOX2. Um, there will be discussions on the um, uh, care oncology, uh -huh. the repurposing I told you about, yeah. a little more specifics there. There will be one patient survivor, Thriver, we call them Thrivers, who's going to come from England to talk about how she used that program and even enhanced it to cure herself of two cancers. Wow. So, yeah, so there's, you know, not just doctors, but Thrivers um, with real methods be getting up and talking. Did I just hear you say cure yourself from cancer? Did I hear you say that? Yeah. You know, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't believe, I don't believe there is a cure. I believe there are many cures and I think mm -hmm. it's individual. Our, it's our job to find that combination of things that, that makes the cancer leave. Mm -hmm. And so I consider that a cure, you know, when you can, when you can heal your body to where the cancer isn't there anymore, that's, that's a cure for your body. There's, like I say, there's not one cure. Um, there will never be one silver bullet because we're all snowflakes. We're all individuals. Yes. There can't be one size fits all. That's right. That's right. So we get to learn how to rebuild. No one is uh, chemotherapy deficient. We all have a deficiency in our body and we need to figure out what that is so that we can repair and heal and restore our body. You can be the sixth or 10th caller or texter, 407-373-5959. It's time to take our health back. It's time to educate ourselves and stop giving our power away, our freedom away. That number is 407-373-5959. And it's the sixth or 10th caller or texter to win two free tickets to go to this event. This is a $358 value that you will get to go for free. Tell your friends, tell them to call right now, 407-373-5959. We'll continue our conversation with Annie when we return worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. We'll be right here waiting for you. I'm telling you, I am just discombobulated. I'm really excited <laughs> about this. So oh, you're anticipating 250, that's how many... Um, attendees you could have or can you have more uh well we've got room for um i think around 300 um for the answers for cancer summit for the physicians we have room for a little more so 
um, we typically just say, you know, just it, it, because it's so informative and it's educational and it's our passion, mm -hmm. we are just so happy to welcome people, you know, to, to the community, to, you know, spend time with them, to, you know, we want it to be the best experience because that's, that's our mission. We want these people to, to embrace it. We want the doctors to want to practice with it. We want them to feel safe to try these options. And what do you, yeah. t what do you say to doctors or, well, let's, let's go with doctors and let's not just say health practitioners, mm -hmm. MDs, because they take insurance or whatever, they are, for some reason, they're held to a different standard where they can't say certain things. They have to do certain things in order to take care of their patients. They're at risk for people suing them. There's just so many things that they're fearful of, whether it's real or not, is, is not, you know. How do you, um, with the doctors that are going there, um, how do you take away that fear? that this is something that they can not only try, but they can help actually do what they signed up for, which is to heal the body. So every year at our conferences, we have a legal expert who comes and talks free to, the, to whoever wants to sit down with them. Um, this year is Jacques Simon. Uh, he's a famous medical defense attorney, mm -hmm. um, typically for alternative medicine. So they can come talk to him, listen to him. He's gonna have a, a lecture. Um, we also talk about, uh, we have studies. So we, we have an institutional review board that we work with and we submit different study protocols. And if the clinic slash physician decides to work under the IRB study, then they have a modicum of protection to, to do that study. And in, in other words, treat the people in that study. Um, so that, that gives them a lot more safety than if they were just trying to, um, trying a, a new a new alternative therapy out there mm. but we really we really encourage the community so that's why the coming to the conferences is great because you make all kinds of connections you know you learn all kinds of things about protection and about you know uh, uh, informed consent forms so getting the patient to sign a document saying I understand you know all the facts about this therapy I've been presented with information I feel comfortable my family's comfortable so it's, um, we've got all kinds of tools. Yeah. Getting those doctors to, to go beyond what they've been taught. Cause I know that I think it was Dr. James Forsyth who said to me, even though these patients were sent home to die, he still has to let them know that this is not the preferred form of treatment that the, that the chemotherapy radiation, do you understand that this is the preferred form of treatment, but I'm offering this to you without any guarantees, that kind of stuff. And do you yeah. understand this? He has to record them so that he protects himself. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay. So this is our last, Absolutely. last um, segment. Can you believe I'm this? I'm sad. Thing? I you know. know. You know, Lillian, the oncologist, which James here is. Here you go. Here you go. And welcome back to the McDermott Radio Show, where we always learn and grow with one another. You want to say this on the air? We were right in the yeah. middle of a sentence because yeah. we're really loving our conversation. But before I tell you, we're talking about the um, best answer, Answer for Cancer Summit. That's going to be May 17th, 19th, 18th and 19th, okay? But there's the Doctors' Conference for Cancer. It's an international integrative oncology conference called Cancer, Cannabis, and Keto. And that is from the 17th through the 19th. This is for CEOs, CEUs, for health practitioners, not just MDs, for anyone who is part of this kind of, anyone who lays hands on another, another person can go to this and get CEU points or credits for, your, for, for what you're doing, what you need. Everybody needs a CEUs. If you're, yes, and for your licensure. And so today we have the uh, can best cancer for best answer for cancer so we're going to do the summit that's the 18th through 19th we're giving away two free tickets for two different callers so let's get a tribe let's get our heel tribe together so the 6th and 10th caller 407-373-5959 that's 407-373-5959 the 6th and 10th Call or text her today on the Lil McDermott Radio Show will win two tickets to the summit 
from the 18th and 19th of May. Now, during our conversation off the air, Annie, I asked the question, you know, how do you get these doctors to, you know, go beyond uh, because they're so full of fear that something is going to happen to them because they're stepping outside of the chemo, radiation, and um, surgery approved means one size fit all, treat everybody. They're stepping outside of that. You were about to say something and we went on the air. Do you want to say? Yeah. So we were talking about uh, Dr. Forsyth and how yeah. he, he has to say, you know, the, still the preferred method is surgery, chemo, radiation. Even though these are st- sent home to die, stage four cancers. Right. Go stage ahead. fours. Mm-hmm. So um, it doesn't matter. As an MD, well, actually as a board certified oncologist, Dr. Forsyth has to recommend those. Absolutely mm-hmm. has to, or he... Mm-hmm. He loses his licensure as a board-certified oncologist. Regular MDs also are required to say those words. Um, They have a little more leeway um, than, than say, a board-certified oncologist in that they can present options to the convention uh, standard of care. Mm -hmm. Um, The doctor will also uh, have the patient, usually the alternative doctor, will also have the patient sign a form that says, I understand, you know, that surgery, chemo, radiation are the preferred path, but I choose at this point in time not to do those. I'm fully aware of the consequences, blah, blah, blah. And so the, you know, the doctor protects himself there. The patient actually, you know, will get more information by signing that document, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and then if that document wasn't there, because um, the doctor will make sure they get all the information they need. Absolutely. It's about choice, freedom of choice. And that has been kind of taken away from us. The moment a cancer diagnosis is heard, then all of a sudden it's like, you know, we're going to the circus. Okay. We got to, we got to, you know, you hear the, da, 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 you get back into that little, that, that, that form that you're being told, okay, chemo starts yesterday. Uh, radiation starts yesterday. Surgery is like last month. You know, that's the type of urgency, urgency, urgency. But the reality is how much time do we have to make an informed decision, Annie? Well, okay, again, go back to if cancer has been growing eight to 10 years, usually before mm-hmm. it shows up, unless it's a very aggressive form, you've certainly got a couple of weeks to look around. And I, and I wouldn't suggest taking, you know, relaxing in the sun. No. I'm suggesting really look at your options, examine everything, carefully decide how you want to do things because, you know, you cannot undo certain things. You cannot undo surgery. You cannot undo chemo and you cannot undo radiation. Um, you cannot undo some of the alternatives too. So as I say to everybody, you know, we're not saying they're black or white. We're saying you need to find what works for you Mm -hmm. and then let that be your white light. Let that be your, your path, your shining path. Absolutely. And so what you're saying is that every single one of us has a different roadmap. Every Mm -hmm. single one of us has our own yellow brick road that leads us to that healthy body. What right. that is, how do we, Annie, um, discover that yellow brick road to health for ourselves? Well, again, this, this conference is going to be the path, one of the paths. Yes. Um, this book is, is the other. You know, it the will healing literally, platform. Uh-huh, the healing platform. It will literally lead you through your life. You will find your diseases. Mm-hmm. It will help you with the, the reference section. It will help you choose therapies to try. You know, I constantly tell patients, you know, okay, you, you've chosen something. Now, don't just stay there blindly walking ahead, even mm-hmm. if the, you know, the cancer's growing and go, you're going downhill. Don't say, oh, well, I can't change. You know, it, we have every right to change our minds. You know, we, we need to learn to listen to our bodies. We need to learn to, you know, work with our, our bodies and with, mm-hmm. you know, the cancer. The cancer is not your enemy. The cancer is your messenger. Mm-hmm. So just like your check engine light, it's telling you something's wrong. And it's our job to take it to the shop, in this case, to us, to ourselves, and to the doctors and find out what's wrong with it. Yeah. You know, when we, there, there are certain things in life that we must repair. Like if you have a flat tire, you must get a new tire. If, you know, if you run out of gas, you have to put gas in it. And, you know, the body has such a wonderful way of healing. 
and it will heal naturally, but we have to give it what we what it needs. So you were talking about all these different modalities that, uh, like for example, Dr. James Forsyth talks about uh, poly MVA, which by the way, uh, has all the nutrients that the body needs that when they're going through that deficiency where you get that cancer diagnosis. And so if you go on to whenyouneedafriend.com, I've been able to get it for everybody at 20% off. Uh, I believe that if you just click on to whenyouneedafriend.com, go to my favorites and it's right there. Uh, for the Poly MBA, it's a supplement. How important are these supplements for the body uh, when you have received a diagnosis of cancer, for example? Well, when you've received a diagnosis of really any kind, you know, you have to assume that your body is deficient in some way. So think of your immune system as a teeter-totter, the old-fashioned teeter-totter. Mm -hmm. And as long as you're holding the disease up in the air, you know, the immune system's in control down here. Great. But when all of a sudden the disease com diagnosis comes up, well, then guess who's in control? The disease, not, not the not the person. So supplements are really important to help rebuild, re-nourish, uh, restore bodily functions. And poly MVA crosses the blood brain barrier and re-nourishes the brain at the cell cellular level. And I like to say it's a no brainer, um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. it's, but it's true. It's, it's, and you know, people go, Oh, it doesn't taste good. I'm like, okay, pretend you're the statue. Of, I mean, the uh, scales of justice, put dying of cancer over here and tasting taste. something that doesn't taste. <laughs> Now, which one are you going to choose? Absolutely. Absolutely. For those of you that would like to go to this conference, if you are a health practitioner, this is, you can enter when you register outreach and you will get a, a discount for going to this. And please, all of you, all of you tell your doctors about this conference, give them the website, bestanswerforcancer.org. Empower your doctors to empower themselves to go beyond what they were taught. And to you, my listeners and my viewers that are watching this today, which is May 7th, right? I got the right date. <laughs> you have the opportunity to win two tickets, two free tickets. This is a $358 value, courtesy of Annie Brandt of Best Answer for Cancer. The sixth and 10th caller to call, call or text 407-373-5959. We'll win two free tickets. And we're doing this for all the shows today. Really excited, Annie, how generous you are. You wanted to give even more, but I'm like, okay, we were going to get these people to come. I'll be there. I'm excited. I'm not sure which days I'll be there, but I do want to be a fly on the wall when these doctors, I want to see their faces. And, and Annie, this weekend I was at this conference for toxins. And you should have seen the light bulbs going out when somebody is told a new truth. You either embrace it or you walk away from it. But at least you have a choice, right? Right. If it's so exciting. Yes. Annie, thank you so much. Can you believe our time has come? We're going to continue no. our conversation after the show real quick. But thank you so much for being on the show today. I am so thank grateful. Thank you for having you. me. And I'm looking forward You're to awesome. seeing you. You're awesome. I know. I can't wait. Right back at you. And to you, my listening friend. When you hear a tr truth, you can't unlearn it. I hope that you will reach out, 407-373-5959 to get your two free tickets, sixth and 10th caller, 407-373-5959. This is Dylan McDermott wishing you love, peace, joy, and unexpected abundance. Make it the best day ever. ever. <laughs> oh, this is good. This is good. So, okay. So much fun. I know. We, the, the hour just flies with you. Just like gone. It does. It does. I don't know. I think it's the healthiest hour, the healthiest, fastest hour on radio. I don't know. Maybe I, I, I made that up. No, but I, I like it. I what like are it. some of the things that you're most excited about with this conference that you've not done before? Oh, I'll tell you, the workshops just have me, have me. I'm just, I'm just beside, I just can't wait. You know, if, I, if anyone had ever offered me, offered me an opportunity to do a workshop to figure out what I should do, I mean, especially nowadays with all the options, it's, there's so much out there, you know, and it's like, how do you decide? And so these workshops will help the patients decide. And I'm, I'm just so thrilled for them because it's, it's such a huge gift to in, in two days accomplish what might normally take you weeks to find a starting point. Interesting that um, I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing you speak because I know that you're one of the speakers. When are you speaking? Uh, about, are you speaking to the doctors as well? Yes, I'm speaking to both audiences. I'm um, 
speaking for the physicians on uh, the first day, mm -hmm. um, 11 a.m., and the public is um, also Friday, the first day for them. Oh, really? Uh, the public? Yeah. I thought the yeah. public was the 18th and 19th only. Yeah, Friday. Friday's oh, their first day. Thursday yeah. is the 17th? There's Thursday the 17th to uh, the physicians. Oh my gosh, I was saying Saturday and Sunday. I, I, I got all my no, dates no, mixed no, up. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Oh, I didn't? Well, okay. I don't think so. I think you said eight, just 18, 19. Okay, good. I, I didn't good. hear Saturday or Sunday. <laughs> yeah, no, it's um, the docs are Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's the Integrative Oncology Conference. And the patients are uh, Friday, Saturday, Best an uh, Answers for Cancer Summit. They're in different ballrooms in the hotel and, in fact, on different floors. So, um, but I speak to the public on Friday at 225. And um, I'm going to talk about, I believe I'm talking about reoccurrences and how to how to handle recurrence, um, you know, using some of these new tools. Uh, and I, I think it'll be a value. I've recently been working with different cancer patients, not working with them, but talking to them about recurrences and where do you go, you know, and how do you find your oomph again? And so I think that's a, con it seems like a common problem these days. And so it's what I want to address and help. You know, um, when I read the um, cancer is a symptom, with the work of Dr. Hammer that uh, Dr. Carlos Garcia talks about on, on that. I'm going to reach out to him. I'm, I'm hoping that he's going to be going to this conference. I'll reach out to him uh, today, as a matter of fact. But, um, you know, he talks about how that's an emotional component. Yes, you can heal the body. But if the emotional aspect is still replaying the old tapes, the cancer will come back the same way it came back before, but maybe in a different part of the body. Um, is that something that um, you have also embraced as far as um, your awareness to reoccurrence? Yes. So I think, you know, if, you, if you're going through cancer, whether it's first, second, third, whatever time it is, uh, if it's the first time and, you're, and the cancer is getting stronger and not work, weaker, you're missing something. Um, and I tell patients this, really, look at your whole life. And you, you won't want to go to the places that feel like a bruise. You know, no one wants to touch the bruise. And, um, but that's where you need to go. And so when it comes back, if and when it comes back, it usually does, statistics show between six and 11 years. So when and if it comes back, then you've missed something. And mm -hmm. it's time to put a whole new program together and figure out what you've missed and really get, get serious about it. And Lily, and I know you know this, emotions, psychology, spirituality, the big ones that are missed. Mm -hmm. I know. We just want to work on the body. But, you know, that's what I, I, I even wrote about this, I believe, just recently, um, th that when we just focus on the body, we're dealing with one third of the problem. Yeah. Yep, and people don't think that, you know, it's a physical manifestation, cancer is, so they think they have to deal with it in the physical. But it's the other stuff that causes it usually. Yeah. It's not usually not the physical. Yeah. Even the CDC says 85% of disease is caused by emotion. So, you know. We, I would love to see that. I would love to be able to <laughs> quote that one. The CDC, 85%? Yeah. Has its all? roots in, emotion, in, in emotional issues. I got to get that. Do you have the, do you have it? Um, we so. do somewhere. Yeah. I, I didn't put it in the book. I think I put the factoid in there, but I didn't, it was a magazine that I saw it in. So I've oh. got to, I've got to root out the. That's going to be my next article. I don't, I don't, I'll base it on that one. So I'll just, the it's CDC a emotion, 85%. Oh my gosh. It's a biggie. You know, it really is. I mean, I've been, I've been um, playing with the Evox. Have you heard of Evox? No, what is that? I, 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 you were talking about, is it the same thing you were talking about, Enox? Is it Enox or Evox? No. So there's Evox and Enox. So uh, Enox. I know. It's conference to yeah. learn more. So yeah, Enox 2 is a protein um, mm -hmm. that is right now in testing qualitative. So they can say there's Enox uh, 2 protein in there, which I believe means there's cancer. But we're trying to, I know someone who's trying to get an Enox 2 quantitative test out so you could see how much Enox2 was in there. So you start, you get a baseline, you start your therapy, then you do another test and you see if the Enox2 protein has gone down or up. If it's gone up, the therapy's not working. If it's gone down, the therapy's working. So it's a really great measure. Mm. And then what Evox is, um, Zyto, I don't know if you know Zyto, they're a um, uh, therapy. Mm -hmm. It's a bioelectronic, yeah. Um, Are they going to be there at the conference? Actually, they're not making this one. Um, we, they're usually with us. Uh, 
they had a previous commitment, so they're not going to be there, but we have people that can talk to the patients about it. Mm -hmm. So um, what the EVOX is, is it's a, a, a biophysical, emotional reading of what's going on in your body. So you, so it will report, like if the patient has um, uh, rigid belief systems uh, around uh, self-worth. I mean, it's, it's amazing. So all those things you don't want to touch, it's going to find. And then there's emotional recall healing, which I dearly love um, because they talk to, um, you talk to the cellular structure of your body and it sounds hocus pocus, but I've seen it work. And one of the examples, emotional recall healing. And Dr. Michelle Schrader um, is going to come speak on emotional recall healing. And when I first heard her speak a couple of years ago, she gave as her case study a baby mm -hmm. who had come out of the birth canal full of eczema, which is just doesn't usually happen. And I mean, full body covered. So they, the pa parents did whatever they could to find out what was wrong, to fix it. They went all over the world. Six months later, this poor baby still is just miserable. And they found out about Dr. Schrader and they took the baby to Dr. Schrader and they, she talked to them and found out that they had discussed abortion. Um, yes. And so they told the baby that they had discussed it, but they really deeply loved him and they were so happy that they, you know, had him. And she's got pictures showing the clearing of the eczema oh gosh, in, that in, just gave me in days, days, days. So there are emotional roots to most everything that crops up. Now, when it because I didn't see her on the list of doctors that are going to be there, um, or maybe she's, those are the exhibitors. Maybe I don't know. No, no, she's uh, she's speaking to the physicians. Um, I'm going to ask her to work one of the round tables for the public. So um, her schedule didn't permit her to speak for the public, but she's going to. I believe she's working the the uh, uh, mind body psycho emotional workshop. One of the one or two of the sessions i'm telling you and and what time do the what time does the the conference for the doctors start what time uh, the doctors it? start on thursday they start each day at 7 30 7 30 in the morning we start early and we go late so they end each day around 5 30 except for saturday which is you know what i don't think i ever even said where it was going to be in orlando oh it's at the <laughs> rosen center in yes. orlando oh boy so i will make sure that i'll say this on my little video at the end and okay. i but i did say orlando i did say yes. orlando and it's on the website if they get a, there yes yeah. oh my <laughs> i'm really excited about this because i think this is the first one as you know i have my foundation the McDermott Holistic Healing Foundation, and we want to be able to pay for these therapies. We just need to figure out how to get the fundraisers going so that we can get people excited about healing their body, mind, yes. body, spirit. So, and let's let's do this together, Lillian, because my that. my biggest sorrow is that I can't help the patients who call and say, "Can you help me with funding?" Oh, I mean, I, wow. I don't I don't get it, you know. Uh, Susan G. Komen gets billions of dollars and nobody pays any attention to the fact that they spend 85 cents of every dollar on their perks. And I'm so frustrated by that. We only take 10% and that's because the IRS makes, you know, requires you to take a percentage of a donation. So it's not money laundering. Mm -hmm. um, but we want our donations to go to the to the patients. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what we yeah. want. We want to be able to affect people who want to. You see, the, the myth is that it's, ex, it's expensive to do integrative approach to healing. That's the myth. The reality is that even if your insurance pays for your, your chemotherapy radiation, there's still a lot of out-of-pocket expenses that exceed going integrative. Not to mention your copay. So if you just talk about copay, most everybody has a 20% copay. Some of the chemotherapy drugs are tens of thousands of dollars per dose. So your copay is, you know, way more expensive than, yeah. than alternative. Yeah. And, and I want to say another thing, you know, I, there are certain Mexican clinics I just dearly love, but I want people to understand that it's different these days in Mexico. They have figured out that the Americans you know, are willing to come down and spend tens of thousands of dollars. So you have to carefully choose your Mexican clinics too, as to, mm -hmm. and make sure that you're getting the, the bang for the buck. Now we, like I say, we're, we've 
got several that we sanctioned there on our website. Um, but, you know, just patience, you know, patience beware, you know, look at, look at what you're getting, consider that this is for the rest of your life. Your funding is for the rest of your life. So mm -hmm. it's not just for this one time. It's, you know, you want to stay alive and that means continuous treatment mm -hmm. well, or, or continuous uh, healing programs and, and therapies and food and, you know, detox and not There's a so lot much. is free these days. That, yes, that's right. There's so much going on. And Annie, I'm so grateful. I, I'm sad that you had to go through what you had to go through. But at the same time, I'm glad that you were responsible about it. Because you could have gone in the corner and said, okay, I'm going to die in six months or three months, whatever it is that you were told, if you were told that you could even survive this. But I'm grateful that it happened to you because somebody else would have just given up. You have become the teacher of all of us. And when I, I'm telling you, the, the highlight Going back to when I went to the Best Answer for Con Cancer, not a Best Answer for Cancer, the Doctors Who Rock um, Gala, when I went to that, was one of the, the, the hidden charms, the diamonds that I received uh, during that time was standing next to you and having the same thing to happen to the two of us at the same time. And we decided we're going to, we have our picture. I don't know if I, I sent it to you yet. Did I say? Yeah, it I found, I found mine, but send me yours too. I, I, I'd like to see your angle. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, yeah. I thought it was a great picture. I had a wonderful time and you were one of my gems too. It was a very special, special well, I'm, time. I'm looking forward to seeing how we can unite our foundation so that we can kick butt because yeah. that my goal, and this has been my goal from the beginning, is that I want to be larger than Susan G. Komen because I want to give more. That's my Amen. vision. Amen. That. That's mine I too. Want to be, I want to be able to give more. I just don't know how to create that um, fundraising aspect of it um, beyond what we're doing now. And it's, you know, and people don't understand, you know, they, they will walk for miles with pink tutus and shave their heads and do all that stuff. It doesn't need to be that way. Mm -mm. It doesn't need to be that way. No. And, and the way I went through, you know, cancer was um, just wanting to stay as healthy as I could until it was my time to go. I didn't, I didn't know if I was going to survive. I, so I didn't focus on that. I focused on just being as healthy as I can and inviting the cancer to leave and being as happy as I could. And, you know, you said, um, you're grateful that I, that I had, I'm grateful for everybody to have that diagnosis because it is a life changer. Mm -hmm. It is your opportunity to really, really redo your life. How many times in your life do you have the opportunity to change everything yeah. and to do, and to be healthy, you know, as a result? I mean, it's, it's fun. Honestly, I, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. So I can't feel sad about it. And well, I'm glad that you took that. That's the part of responsibility. That's the, th that is the epitome of what this show is about. You know, most people think of responsibility as blame, shame, fault, and duty, but mm -hmm. that is what we've turned it into. Responsibility leads to empowerment and freedom. And uh, I have four questions on my website under the 100% responsibility page at whenyouneedafriend.com. And it's where we answer these four questions. How did I create it? What are the gifts and lessons? What's going to be different? And how am I going to give this back, what my lessons are to the commu to back to people so that it could help the greater good? You were able to do all that. And it's all a mind, body, spirit. And that's how people do heal. That's how we get to that root, and which is to take that ownership and say, you know, most people don't want to say, I created it. No, nobody wants to take ownership of that. So I'm just glad that, the, the word just needs to be changed from blame, fault, shame, and duty to empowerment and freedom. Responsibility is a good word. And I think the fact that you, if you can accept that you created it, that gives you so much power because, hey, if you created it, you, you can, can uncreate it. it. That's right. That's right. That's right. You're absolutely right. Annie, I'm looking forward to seeing you on the 17th. Same here. Now that I know it's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, yeah. um, I can be there most of those days. I'm really, yeah. I don't even know what I was and, thinking. And happy birthday next week. Thank you. And I'll, we'll, hey, let's get together and celebrate because right. I celebrate the yep. whole year. <laughs> Good. I do too. Good. I do too. When is yeah, your birthday, Annie? November 21st. 
So you have a birthday day, you have a birthday week, and you have a birthday month and a birthday year. As far as I'm concerned, it should never stop. <laughs> the party continues. Annie Brandt, <laughs> thank you so much for being thank part you, of the Molly. show. I'm looking forward to you, seeing you on the 17th through 19th. And to you, my listening, my viewing friends, if you get to call today, the show airs again at 8, noon, and 5 p.m. Eastern time. So... You know, they say three times a charm. Keep trying. 407-373-5959. Thanks for catching us today and listening to the end. Thank you so much, Annie. I really appreciate you. Thank you, Lily. Yeah. Same here. Okay.